Him. Here's our leader, Lucas Herbert, at the long par five third. Big hitter, he needs to get this one fading. There's a bunker through the fairway that you can actually see, and that looks like it's heading straight for it. You know, it was a little bit right of that, then that's a perfect drive. Some eagles here yesterday. I think this pin's it's a much trickier place to stick one in there close, but that's that's a careless shot. I know it sounds strange, but he might do well to make a five from that. We saw Lucas Herbert push one wide with his approach at the par five third. This is now his fourth shot. Still a considerable amount of work to do for the five. No real need for yeah. the driver at four. It's a, a positional yeah. tee shot, 422 yards, which for these players is only a, a three wood and a wedge, maybe an nine iron. Dog leg from uh, left to right. Uh, is he got a flyer here? No, I think he was playing for one and it didn't happen. This isn't easy. That's quite a steep bank off the back foot with a lot of loft. Needs to drive it forward and hope for a positive bounce. And you got it. It was not easy. No, the mistake was the second shot. The one thing you don't want to be there is short today. For the up and down and to save his par. You can see the anguish. It's not a difficult hole. If you find the fairway off the tee, it's just a three-quarter wedge in there. But the one place, as I say, at four, you can't be today is short of that green. It's Herbert's driven it on to the front of the green, put for a two in the eagle. that end it's a good recovery from the disappointing bogey in the last Herbert birdie putt at five to go clear on his own no problem at all back to ten under and a nice bounce back after the drop shot at the fourth as well Lucas Herbert ball just a little bit above his feet third shot into this seventh but beautiful sound on the turf that's lovely that hollow sound plenty of spin on it good shot herbert with a chance to go to minus 11. one round to go yeah well done he likes to play well in some big tournaments doesn't he he does As we go out to the leader, Herbert, and his second to the par four eighth from 167 yards. Perfect drive. Him just perched atop the green, back right corner. Lovely goal shot. Chance to make it three birdies in the last four holes for our leader. Have to take the chances while you have them. Few better than this at the eighth for Lucas Herbert to extend his lead. Just a little pacey. I think that's crept on a little ways. I don't think that's uh, something not to think about. 214 yards it's playing to the pin today. You've got a pin that's 20 on six from the right side. So middle of the green and just, if you can, just try and move it a little left to right. Yep, pretty good downwind as well. Probably won't be playing much more than five or six iron that I wouldn't have thought today. And Ali, he's a man who does enjoy playing things golf. Yeah, he does. Uh, it's surprising given that he seems a bit wild with his long game that you wouldn't necessarily think the two would match up. Dangerous pin over on the right side. Just trying to cozy that down to the whole side, but there's some left for the Australian. Our putt at nine for Herbert. Lovely day, wonderful round of golf. 
Well, it's back nine so far this week. Out in 30, back in 35, beautiful 65. It's a nice run when you go 3-2-3-2. Three, two, three, two. Perfect way to start the day. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, to be honest, I turned up here on Wednesday and hit it all over the place, so was sort of uh, not really expecting too much in the last few days, but it's kind of all come together nicely and had given myself a lot of chances. You know, I could have easily been another four or five better if I had to roll more putts in, but um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's just been great, which is taking the pressure off and I haven't had to, you know, get it up and down from ball washers to try and save pars. Yeah, still a long way to go. Um, so just got to make sure that's kind of my, my focus for the weekend is just, there still is a long way to go. and. Um, two rounds of level par are not going to get it done uh, unless that weather gets pretty bad, which it, it might. But I would say that I'm still going to have to keep the foot on the uh, accelerator and try and take it pretty low on the weekend because, um, you know, there's some birdies out there. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.